all of a sudden I grabbed both sides of my neck because it just felt hot. There was a sensation on both sides of my neck that I'd never felt before. It's kind of funny to be at work and have the Redskins training and medical staff be my first first responders. I had a Nova Loud and they had a piece of equipment that was used to diagnose that it was aortic dissection, not a heart attack, that I needed to get to a Nova Fairfax. The idea that that equipment was acquired through philanthropy, through a family that cares deeply, that, that saved me. It's a feeling of incredible gratitude. 25% of the patients with an aortic dissection don't make it to the hospital nationally. Another 25% of them don't survive the operation itself. And, you know, our whole system here is totally focused that we can lower that 1% to 2% rate. Everyone is geared to these types of diseases. I distinctly remember saying, I'm not ready to die yet. And because of the care I got at Inova, I didn't die. Every day I think about Inova, I think about my doctors, the nurses, the techs, and the role that they all played in me living today the life I've always lived. I'm gonna box again because I love boxing. I'm not gonna get hit, but I am gonna go back to do that because it's important to me. I asked Dr. Spear one time why this happened to me, but I didn't say why me. I wanted to know why it happened. And he thought it was probably incredible bad luck. And when I've told that story, and I've told it to a good number of people, all of them, as soon as I say that he says incredible bad luck, they all finish the story for me and say, but you had such good luck in being where you were at Inova Fairfax. And I love that. That has been every single person's reaction. I was in the right place at the right time with people who knew what to do and how quickly to do it. The vision around the Heart and Vascular Institute was that no patient should ever have to leave the metropolitan Washington area for cardiac, thoracic, or vascular illness. It is an entirely freestanding apparatus that contains vascular surgeons, cardiologists, interventional radiologists, heart surgeons, thoracic surgeons, and then nursing staff and support staff that are entirely dedicated to cardiovascular care. An awful lot of people saved my life, and I hope they take great pride in that. And I know they save lives a lot. So for them, if this is old hat, God bless you. It's not old hat to me. I'm going to live a quote-unquote normal life, and they tell me, likely for a normal lifespan. I'll take it.